Good to see you guys again. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are opening up more magic cards today. If you are new here, thank you for watching. Uh, and if you would like to watch me open more magic cards in the future, please hit that subscribe button. As you can see in the title, we are opening a mystery booster today. Mystery booster box. Now these are pretty different from a normal expansion uh, into the world of magic. Um, normally a booster box would have 36 packs and a collector's booster would have 12 packs, but this guy's got 24. And um, there are some pretty old magic cards in this. They are all reprints to my knowledge. I don't think there are any new cards in this release, in this print. Um, but I do know that there are 1,815 unique cards you could pull from this box. Um, if you don't know exactly how many that is, to give reference, I think the average expansion is roughly between three and 500 unique cards. I think Throne of Aldrain was like 450 something. So to have 1,800, um, that's a lot. That's, uh, that's almost quadruple the amount of cards that you could open in this set. Beyond that, it's all a mystery. Oh, I'm a dumbass. There's a description on the box that will give us some more information. Draft the unknown. Dive in and explore an unbelievably huge pool of wild and wonderful cards pulled from over 20 years of magic history. That's a lot. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Embrace the best kind of chaos. All right, I like chaos. I like magic cards. And just to clear the air on the we do the games, like the title of this channel, um, right now there are two parts that's me opening up the cards on camera and doing whatever else I might do in the future involving gaming and uh, my boyfriend who goes out and buys magic cards for me to open so he is the supplier and I am the user that was a bad reference I apologize I don't want to wait any longer so Let's get to cracking some packs. All right, I'm excited. You're excited. Let's open up this box, this mystery booster box. I am just excited to see some different cards. Like these are gonna be from multiple different sets um, and some are gonna be really old, but we do have some opportunities to pull some pretty crazy cards from this box so Black Knight. Hmm. I'm gonna set aside some of these cards I don't really know about. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a great one to pull right off the bat. Sliver Hive Lord. Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay. Already cool. And Form of the Dragon. That is our foil. It is a rare. Um, looks like. I don't recognize that symbol, not around that time, but I'm definitely gonna set some of these aside and take a look at that. Um, let's get some of that. Ooh, Eternal Witness. Okay, that is from a master set, I believe. Oh, Dominus of Fealty, a spirit avatar. Definitely gonna set that one aside. Ooh, Alesha who smiles at death. Okay, that's a rare. Seen, I've seen her a lot in Commander. I've seen her a lot in play. Not 100% sure about her value. Um, we'll set her aside though. And then, oh, a Gilder Bairn.
Sigil of Valor. Oh, that's an older one. Okay, I definitely don't recognize that for sure. Uh, Carpet of Flowers. During your main phase, you may add up to X mana of one color to your mana pool, where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. Oh, that's interesting. Carpet of Flowers. Definitely setting that one aside. Um, a lot of you might be watching me and being like, oh my god, these are great pulls. Or, oh my god, these are terrible pulls. Um, <laughs> this is uh, definitely the fun of it. Sometimes I feel like people watching me might know more than I know myself. So, Helix Pinnacle. Why do I feel like this is a good card? Um, I could be wrong. Okay, it's definitely gonna set that one aside. Ooh, okay, I think this might be one of our first mythics. And this is a uh, Kiki Cheeky Mirror Breaker, the legendary creature Goblin Shaman. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, I'm gonna pop him back there because I don't know how much he is worth. And we've got a Drug Skull Captain, an uncommon, as our foil in the back. Um, sorry, my lighting right now is just uh, not too great. We're having a little bit of a dim day <laughs> outside, so. All right, let's get back to it. I think this, um, opening these up is just really exciting too because a lot of these I just generally haven't seen. Um, when you open up a box from like a, a specific expansion, a lot of the times you're gonna run across multiples of cards. Um, and with this, I feel like seeing multiples is definitely not going to be as common, uh, which is exciting. Charging Rhino, a river, Hoopo, uh, stand, sand step citadel. I can't talk, that is a land. A, ooh, a Sapphire Charm. We've got some old art here. Target player draws a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep, or target creature and opponent control phases out, or target creature gains flying until the turn. Oh, an instant. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, definitely have not heard of that one. Setting that one aside to look up later as well. Oh, okay. We've got a Chasm Skulker, which is um, our, one of our rares. And then a, oh, a spike feeder. We're getting another land here. Martyr's Bond. This one is a little bit older for sure. We're gonna set that one aside. Debtor's Nell. Um, we'll set that guy, uh, we'll set this guy back here. I'll have to look it up later. And then a Proclamation of Rebirth is our foil on the back, which is a rare. Okay, now we're starting to get, we're definitely getting some lands. I recognize these lands too. Elixir of Immortality. Um, and then we've got Precursor Golem, which is an artifact creature. Um, and then that is just a normal, that is just a common card in the back of our foil. Talia's Lancers. I don't recall if this is uh, expensive or not, um, but I definitely have used it in. I think I used to actually use it in my Angel deck, my Angel Commander deck. Uh, Th uh, Talia was definitely a part of it. I believe multiple versions of Talia were part of it. So, and then a 
Hornet Sting, a common foil card for us. Peace Strider. Oh, that's a cool looking creature. That's interesting, okay. Oh, that's cool. Through in the Thrun, the last troll. Ooh. And then we've got an all is dust foil. And I've got, we've actually got, wait, wait, wait. This is not a foil. Is it a foil? Or am I losing my mind? Hold on, I gotta lose my mind. Okay, this is not a foil. I'm a nutcase. This is not a foil. It just happened to look um, nice and shiny. All is dust though. I uh, remember purchasing this card for a friend we were building an Aldrazi deck for. And then we've got a funeral charm. It's crazy to see how um, digital art has gotten better over the ages. Uh, I, I see that definitely with these cards as well. And then we've got a meandering tower shell, which is a turtle. That's a big ass turtle. Island walk. I don't think I've ever heard of island walk either. Okay, cool. Definitely gonna set that one aside. Oh, oh, what is this? Luma thread field. That's our foil. Um, it's, it looks like it's just a common, but the setup of like this type of card, God, I don't know what this set is, uh, what this card, what set this card is from. But a breaker of armies and Eldrazi. Love Eldrazi's. Could never ever get sick of Eldrazi cards. I think they're awesome. Magus of the Moat, a human wizard. Creatures without a flying can't attack. Hmm. Nope, I think I'm thinking of a different card. I think I'm thinking of a different card, but I am gonna throw one aside. Um, do need to look that one up. Like I need to look up all these cards. Okay, cool. Then our foil on the back is Maro. Oh, that's a cute little guy. That one is interesting. Okay. Theron Dynamo. This one definitely sees play in Commander. Mana Morphos. That's just a common card, but I don't recognize that set either. Okay, and we're gonna keep going with that. Oh, a Basilisk color. I recognize this. Um, can't remember how much it's worth. I don't think it's anything crazy. Um, and then Fungusar. Hornet's Nest, that is an insect with Defender as our rare. And a Noggle Bandit, oh my god, what the... Okay, that's a very interesting looking card. Collective Brutality. I uh, don't think, don't remember if they're um, highly worth it. And then we've got a Foil Common Stormcrow as that last card. Unfortunately, with these reprints, it does kind of bring down the value of the price of the card because it's a reprint. Um, oh, Darksteel Garrison, an artifact. All right, 
Cormod's Crypt, Dorothy nice that one. Master Transmuter, a human artificer. All right, I'm setting that one aside. Ooh, Savage Knuckle Blade. We've got two rares in this pack. Huh, interesting, that is not our foil. Uh, we have a common foil. <laughs> Pyretic Ritual on the back there. A Kragenwick Cremator, Giant Shaman. Uh, definitely don't recognize that card. And then, oh, uh, okay, a Temporal Mastery. That's really cool. Um, we've got an Ogre Gatecrasher, another common card. Got a goblin pile driver. A stigma lasher. So this is a rare foil elemental shaman. Eldrick Evolution as a as a rare for this pack. Don't recognize that one. I know it's um from Ultra Moon, but I'll have to look it up. And then Mage Rites Stone as our foil on the back. A toxin sliver. Mm, I love myself some slivers. I don't know how much this guy is worth, but it is in my sliver deck for sure. Whenever a sliver deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. It can't be regenerated. Awesome. Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay, uh, that that's interesting. Out of 1,815 cards, we have we now have two. Sliver Hive Lords. Uh, okay. You know, I'll take it. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And then an Undead War Chief. An Ancient Ziggurat. Oh man, I do not recognize it. Oh, Chromatic Lantern! Okay, obviously not like super expensive, but that's a that's a pretty decent pull. Definitely something that's used quite often in Commander. Um, so I'm gonna set that one aside because I know that one's good. And then this one is... Oh, this one is a... I've got two cards in this. I forgot what these are called. I don't very commonly play... Oh, it says Fuse. Ooh, Demonic Tutor. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know that one is uh, pretty good right off the bat. All right, definitely did not pass that one up. <laughs> Crystal Ball, the art is really cool there. Ooh, Bow of Nylea. Another Mirren Crusader, because uh, we pulled one of those already. And Teferi's, Teferi's Puzzle Box. Exsanguinate. Mm, don't remember how much this is worth, but I know people definitely play it. Um, I've seen it a lot in Commander. So I'm gonna set that one aside. Boros Reckoner, a Minotaur Wizard as our rare. Uh, not familiar with that card either. And then we've got a White Knight. All right, this is our last mystery booster. Are we gonna get good cards in this pack? Or are we gonna get 
cards in this pack. Take a guess. Take a guess. And Rage Reflection. Okay, I think we're getting another card because it looks like we've got something else in the back behind this one. Oh! Alhamrit's Archive. Legendary Artifact. This one is pretty good. Um, yeah, definitely we're playing this in Commander. If you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you would draw a card except the first one you draw, and each of your draw steps, draw, draw two cards instead. Uh, played this in my Aloro deck, like I was mentioning earlier. And our foil on the back is Conspiracy. As Conspiracy comes into play, choose a creature type. Creature cards you own that aren't in play. Creature spells you control and creatures you control are the chosen type. So, I definitely have a lot of research to do. Um, but let's take a look through the cards that... Um, I know there are some value and some cards that I am hoping there are there is some decent value. <clears throat> All right, so right away, to see double of a card and double of a mythic card uh, in one of these booster boxes kind of blows my mind. Um, we have two of these, two sliver hive lords out of this mystery booster. Let me say it again if I haven't said it too many times. There are 1,815 cards you can pull from this set, from this release. That is crazy. That's crazy. We've got two of these, and they're like they're actually worth some they're worth some decent money. So we've got those two. We've got a, a foil helix pinnacle, one that I am going to do some research on. Go to look it up. Uh, Demonic tutor, I know, is just generally good, and I believe it's also generally kind of expensive. Uh, this one I have to research too, Teferi's Puzzle Box. Um, just looks really interesting, and like the, what the card does, I think, makes it sound like, it, like it's expensive. Uh, and then Temporal Mastery, obviously we know what that one does. Um, that is a nice pull right there as a mythic. Yep, Almoret's Archive. Also, uh, just a nice card in general. Not 100% sure on the value of this one, though. And then we're getting to more cards that I don't know about. Um, but we've got some mythics in here. Kiki Jiki the Mirror Breaker. Um, Stigma Lasher. That is a foil. Um, what it does, I think, sounds really good. <laughs> Thrun the Last Troll. He's a troll shaman. That is also a myth that we've got there. And then we've got Fungosar and Maro. Look at these. Look at these boys. Cute. And these are both, uh, these are both foil. Even though it doesn't show too well on my camera. I promise they're foils. So, overall, great experience opening up this box. Um, like I said, I like being able to see different cards all the time. So, we only got a couple of doubles, uh, which is just nice. Uh, getting, like opening a pack and knowing that you're probably not going to see any of the same cards, really cool. Uh, I definitely have a lot of research to do after this video, uh, just to double check on prices that I'm pretty sure about, and then also check on cards I don't know anything about. Thank you for watching. If you want to leave a little like, a little comment, I would appreciate any suggestions you have for things I should open. Um, games I should play, other things I could maybe do. I promise I will do other things than just open up magic cards on camera. Well, actually, I don't know if I can promise that. I do like opening up magic cards a lot.